This video contains excerpts from our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing. Jump to 9.1.2 or higher, upgrade production cluster device loads. This drawing describes how to upgrade the production cluster device loads. Cisco recommends upgrading the device loads before cutover. This lets you incrementally upgrade and test phones in small numbers. This greatly increases the chance of a clean cutover. Let's start with a quick overview and review. This is an overview of the jump upgrade and virtualization. This drawing looks at upgrading the device loads in the production cluster. Enterprise 20 does this before virtualizing the production cluster in builds. Here are the tasks for a jump to 9.1.2 virtualization and upgrade. On day two, a figurative day, we virtualize and upgrade our CUCM cluster. Here are the individual tasks for upgrading the production cluster device loads. Get 9.1.2 device loads, determine target loads, and incrementally upgrade devices in the production cluster. This is an overview of the Jump Lab. This drawing looks at activities on the production and pre-production clusters. First, we need to get the 9.1.2 device loads. We do that using our cleanly installed 9.1.2 pre-production cluster. We can get the default loads from the Cisco Unified Communication Software Compatibility Matrix, currently available at this link. We're going to export them directly from the pre-production cluster. RDP to your pre-production Windows Server 2008 Jump server and launch whatever browser you use. Web browse to this address. Ignore the security warning and click Continue to this website. Log in using Collab Admin and your password. Have a look at the device defaults. Navigate to Devices, Device Settings, Device Defaults. All of the default device loads are listed here. You need to align these with the values in your production cluster. We'll use the BAT tool to export these values. Navigate to Bulk Administration, Import Export, Export. For the file name, use device defaults 9.1.2.10,000-28 or your build. Check the box beside device defaults. Provide a job description, select the Run Immediately Radio button, and click Submit. Navigate to Bulk Administration, Upload Download Files to get the file. Check the box beside your file and click Download Selected. The file is in CSV format. We cleaned it up and put it into an Excel file you can download. Now we can determine our target loads. We're not going to upgrade our cluster without understanding the consequences of going to the new phone loads. All devices and applications must be compatible with target loads. You need to make sure of this before cutover. You have the choice for each type of device to upgrade existing devices to 9.1.2 loads. This is the most desirable. Downgrade 9.1.2 loads in the pre-production cluster to current production loads. For upgrades from 8.x or higher, you'll downgrade the loads in the upgraded builds cluster. Or choose a load in the middle and apply it to both the production and pre-production clusters, upgraded builds cluster for upgrades from 8.x or higher. Here's an example. Is SRST going to work after the upgrade? We need to know in advance. Consider checking this out in the lab using the pre-production cluster. Attach a router and some phones to the pre-production collab A or B VLANs and run some tests. The fewer times you have to say, I didn't test that, the better. Our router iOS is C2800NM-IPVoice 
underscore IVS dash MZ dot one five one dash two dot TO a dot bin. We pop that image name into the feature navigator at cisco.com and filter by feature name and SRST to see that our image supports SRST up to version 8.0. We can verify this on the router as well. This is the 9.1.2 phone load. This load is very close to the SRST 9.0 load. This link shows us the SRST 9.0 supported firmware. We tested the phone load against SRST running on routers with this iOS, and it didn't work. So we have an issue. The router SRST version does not support the 9.1.2 load. We have options for resolving this. We can upgrade the router iOS. This might be a good idea but we may want to avoid this as part of the CUCM upgrade. We can downgrade the target load to the current production load. We do this in the pre-production cluster, but we want to avoid keeping old phone loads. This is not a good long-term strategy. We want to exploit new phone features that come with later loads. Or we could choose an intermediate load and upgrade the production cluster and downgrade the target load. We'll go to the latest phone load where we don't need to upgrade our iOS. Enterprise 20 upgraded our router iOS and tested and used the 9.1.2 default load. Once you've chosen the target loads, you need to get the COP files. Download them from cisco.com. These are under the path, Downloads Home, Products, Collaboration Endpoints, IP Phones. Put the COP files into the production SFTP server folder. We will incrementally upgrade devices in the production cluster. For each type of phone you are upgrading, open the maintenance window. We need to do this because we will be resetting phones and there may be service interruption. Apply the target load to the production cluster. Reset the TFTP server. Inventory registered devices. Reset phones. Inventory registered devices and close the maintenance window. There's no need to upgrade everything at once. We can repeat this as needed. You can upgrade different device types in different maintenance windows. Have a look at the device defaults. Navigate to Devices, Device Settings, Device Defaults. This is the phone load before the upgrade. In the navigation drop-down box, select Cisco Unified OS Administration and click Go. Log in using Platform and your password. Navigate to Software Upgrades, Install Upgrade. Provide the software location information and click Next. Use the Builds Jump Server SFTP server. Select the COP file corresponding to your target phone load and click Next. The file will be read up from the SFTP server. Click Next. Navigate back to CM Administration. Select Cisco Unified CM Administration in the Navigation drop-down box and click Go. Log in using Collab Admin and your password. Have a look at the device defaults again. Navigate to Devices, Device Settings, Device Defaults. Confirm that the new phone load is correct. Reset your TFTP servers. In the Navigation drop-down box, select Cisco Unified Serviceability and click Go. Navigate to Tools, Control Center, Feature Services and select Pub in the Server drop-down box. Click Go. The TFTP service is running on both Pub and TFTPB. You need to restart the service on both servers. It's a good idea to determine the number of registered devices before upgrading so that you can ensure that all the upgraded devices have re-registered after the upgrade. Once the TFTP server is restarted, you can upgrade devices. 
Enterprise 20 does this, Inventory Registered Devices, Reset Devices, and Inventory Registered Devices. Check to see that everything re-registered. You can do this at the same time for all of the devices you are upgrading, or you can upgrade devices in batches. In some cases, it's easier to look at unregistered devices. Enterprise 20 upgrades phones one device pool at a time. If things go well for the first device pools, then we start doing more than one at a time. Enterprise 20 has device pools organized based on the location and device type. For example, TO7965 phones device pool and Winnipeg 8945 phones device pool. We find the number of registered devices in a device pool, reset the phones, and then make sure all devices re-register. Device pools should always be organized by geographic location. If you do this, you can easily find phones of a particular type at a particular location using a filter on device pool and a filter on device type. RTMT can be used to find the number of registered devices of a particular type. In RTMT, navigate to Call Manager, Device, Device Search, Open Device Search, Phone. Select the Registered Radio button and any Call Manager, then click Next. Select the Radio button beside any status and click Next. Select the protocol your devices are using and the device model being upgraded. Click Finish. This gives you a count of the number of registered devices of a particular type in your whole cluster. You can refine this search if needed. Reset devices and validate that they re-register. If you need to back out the load, you can apply the pre-upgrade COP file to the cluster. You would need to reset the TFTP server again and then reset any registered devices. We've upgraded the production cluster device loads. We won't apply any patches until after the upgrade and cutover. Coming up next, jump to 9.1.2 or higher, production cluster patch freeze. Thanks for watching.